Hello guys, hello again. I'm here with you. I'm Solana Bahrami and I'm here with you with another topic. And this topic is about one of the, you know, um, my favorite topic because it's about what we have in this world and teachers must know about this topic more. So let's discuss it. It's, it's going to be a short clip for this one and you're going to watch a lot of clips next. So. Uh, I, I hope you begin uh, the, the topic with my clip. So, um, what I want to talk with you is about why coding and why teachers should bring coding in the curriculum. Okay, so the first reason I I know I, I want to talk about it. It's about it's the role of this world. What I mean about this? Have you seen a teacher that says, okay? Guys, you have to solve this problem, and the students start to, uh, you know, um, calculate or you know solve the problem. But one of the students raised his hand and asked this question: Can I use calculator? And the teacher goes like this: No, because I want you to know how to solve this problem on your own, not using the machine. Actually. Right now, in this modern world, that's one of the biggest mistakes that a teacher can do. We need tools to solve the problems. And when you are going to avoid these tools and when you're going to teach your students not to use them, they're not going to be ready for the, you know, the world around them and the, the world that they're going to encounter in the next years. So what's the best thing you can do is about you know, teaching them how to use the device they have and the best part is this, how to command that device. So, that is why coding and learning coding is important because in this world, everything around you is digital and the students must know how to command these digital devices. So, using calculator is good. Is, there is no problem in using calculator because when we grown up and we are in the you know in the in the life, no one is going to actually calculate numbers. Mostly when it's so it's simple, but when it's a little difficult, we're not going to solve the problem on our own. We're going to use a lot of devices, even calculator on our phones, on our laptops. So, what should we do? Is about teaching students how to how they can solve this you know how they can use these tools in the best way and of course how to command this calculator how to command laptop how to command phones so this is the first reason for the next reason I, I, I want to say about let's let's face it when we're going back to 10 years ago or something like this the one, one you know, trend of topic is about IQ and EQ. People around you talk about, you know, this student has high IQ or that this student has high EQ. You know, if you don't know, it's, uh, you know, emotional intelligence and, of course, IQ. People said successful people, successful leaders are people who know how to use and how to, you know, level up their IQ or EQ. But nowadays, this is not the problem. You can see many, let's see, stupid people. But just by coding, they're now the leaders of the world. You know, these days, you don't need people with high IQ or EQ. You can cover up all of that. You're just learning how to use, you know, coding and those skills. So when you learn to code, you can learn how this world goes around and you can know how to control everything. So coding is important because you can understand how the rules goes and that means you're leveling up your EQ at the same time your IQ. So maybe if you're stupid or you cannot you know solve the problem on your own, it's okay and you can go learn coding. That's the best way to uh, you solve all the problems on one's life. The Third and one of the important ones about future career. If you think about it, 
all the de devices, all the things around you are digital and in the next years it's going to be more than this. And when you want to go to work with a company or you want to start a career and start your own career or work for someone, the basic things about knowing technology and if you know coding, you can work in every company, in each company you can think of. You can work in whatever you want because every career depends on technology. For example, let's talk about finance. You want to work in finance, so you want to talk about how you want to, you know, involve yourself in financial world. But most financial things is about how you can solve financial problems with using these, you know, applications, softwares, and who invented them. The coders. So you need to learn coding, and you need to teach your students how to code. And uh, the final equity is the most important thing that teachers sometimes miss to do. Equity means that people, students around the world, needs to have access, knowledge, and all the on all what needs to solve a problem, to go on with their lives. So they need to have. Technology access, technology information at some level. When they cannot do that, you know, you have to forget about economical situation, you know, you have to forget about sexual situation, nothing. If you put them all aside, a person must get, handle his life or her life. Without technology in a few, in a, you know, years ahead of us, we're not going to, the students are not going to solve their problems, they don't know how to work with this technology, and that's not fair for them, so it's not social justice. So, yeah, it can be one of the problems they have, so teachers have the obligation, they have the duty to teach the students about this coding. Another one, oh, I said the last one, and this one, I'm going to talk about it on the next clip, the problem solving. That's one of the best one. I'm going to talk about it in the next clip. Thank you for watching this.